everyone, good morning. Today's Vlogmas Day 7. Guess who's actually up early this time? I am. It's 9.23, I've already got my workout in. So it's like 7.15, 7.30. Um, just cause my room was like really hot this morning, which I was not a fan of, but um, that's what woke me up. So I've actually been up for a while and I really wanna get home so I can edit Vlogmas, but I'm actually going to get breakfast at a coffee shop I have not been to. I've only been to it once and it was when it first opened and it was, it was like the coffee was good, but the food wasn't great. But now they've been open for a while, I'm excited to go back and try it again. Um, it's called Turbo and it's really close to where I'm at right now, so that's good. But as soon as I get home, I'm editing yesterday's vlog, I'm just getting it up ASAP. Snowing this time last year and that's Bryant Denny Stadium. And then that's me and Julia. <laughs> it was so, so cold and like, I'm just like looking back on that and I was like, how was that a year ago? But I will check in with you guys when I get the turbo. And it's gonna be a good day. It's cold and rainy, which I'm loving. And I just went to a bar class this morning, by the way, which I'm sore from my workout yesterday. So that was like pretty intense. I'm at Turbo now, I got an English muffin and eggs. I'm with Julia, long time no see. She got all the toast and then we're waiting on our drinks. Hi guys, so I'm at home now and I just like opened up our blinds, um, our curtains, whatever you wanna call it. We have like giant windows all in our living room and it's my favorite thing ever. But we like never have them open because whenever anyone watches TV there's like a glare, but I love having them open regardless. Turbo was really good with Julia. I just got a, um, this is chocolate milk and cold brew and at first it was nasty because it looked straight cold brew concentrate which is too much but now it's like a really good mix and it's good and I know I don't normally drink milk but I'm having an exception because I couldn't decide on what to drink eating some of these pears real quick as a snack I'm waiting on my vlogmas to upload it's taking so long I'm about to watch a quick episode of Dynasty. I just made a smoothie with strawberries that were frozen and sweet vanilla almond milk. And I actually just did a small scoop of um, cookie Those butter from Tra cookie butter from Trader Joe's, and it was really good. And then a scoop of vanilla Griffin's protein. protein. Griffin's protein. Griffin's protein. He just got here from his workout. He's loving his bun. <laughs> and I'm still uploading vlogmas. It takes so long. Hi guys. So I watched Dynasty. Griffin's going to eat lunch with his friend right now and I'm putting on some fuzzy socks because my feet are ice cold for whatever reason like they literally feel numb I cannot believe it's 240 I don't know how the days are just like flying by this fast when I'm not even doing anything like it makes no sense so I'm gonna put on these fuzzy socks I'm gonna take a 30 minute power nap um just because this weather is not helping at all because it's literally just like rainy and cold and then this week's gonna be like really stressful and I know it's like Saturday right now so I still have tomorrow but I think I'm gonna shower after this and like self tan because I haven't done that in forever and I just kind of like really want to. I do that every time. Like my confidence is feeling a little bit under the weather. I just like will self tan and I like instantly feel like a little bit better. If I would have woke up when my alarm was actually supposed to go off this morning instead of like 40 minutes before it, I think I wouldn't need a nap today. But I had cold brew and I'm still very tired. I'm gonna nap out here with Ella because it's super cozy and everything. Um, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Sorry I haven't done anything today, but I promise the rest of this vlog will be very productive. So I'm listening to music, just got out of the shower and put lotion on and everything. I'm actually about to do my eyebrows real quick, um, just cause they're like pretty rough and I like doing them before I like self-tan and stuff. As far as my self-tanner goes, I've shown you guys this before in a vlog, but I'm just using my like Velvet Mitt from Loving Tan, and then the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. And then this guy is just great for getting your back. I just finished self tanning. Um, I know I look like super orange or whatever, but <laughs> we're good. It's got to wash off in a little bit, but I think right now I'm going to set some chicken out to thaw it to probably cook for dinner. I don't feel like cooking and don't want chicken, but I'm going to set it out anyways, <laughs> just in case. Also, just a little disclaimer. I know I said I was thinking about this in the shower. I know I said like, oh, I'm going to, sorry. I self tan my face. I know some people don't, but I just like have to. That's almost like the whole point of it for me because my face is dark. Like I definitely like don't care to wear it any makeup or not but once I rinse it off it'll look more normal I swear and um I just wanted to give a little quick disclaimer that you don't have to like buy self tanner and wear self tan stuff to you know like feel good about yourself it's just something that personally makes me feel better about myself and whenever I'm feeling down I will do anything I can to feel better about myself so I didn't want you guys to think that like I'm like oh in order to feel good about yourself you have to be tan tan is pretty no like all of it's pretty like Pale is pretty, tan is pretty, whatever. Whether your skin is pale or tan, it does not matter. 
you're fine the way you are. <laughs> I'm just saying personally, I feel more confident when I'm tan and I know a lot of other people do too, but I just didn't want it to come off me being like, oh, you like have to do this to feel good about yourself or look good, but that's not the case. If you watched vlogmas the other day you'll know that i said that my um next or my last two chapters of finance i have outlined were my shortest um the one i just did was really long too so that sucked but i do know my very last one which i may save till tomorrow because i can i didn't realize i was like a day ahead on when i wanted to be outlining things um it's really really short so it's not gonna take long at all tomorrow but i just made me some dinner it's just kind of light i just have my leftover chicken noodle soup from chick-fil-a last night and then i made like a grilled cheese on dave's bread and then i just did very like minimum white cheddar cheese i had like a little bit left over of a block of it and i just put like a few like small pieces on here because i don't like a lot of it and i'm about to just watch some youtube videos while i eat this and take a quick break and i think my friend megan not the one y'all normally see in vlogs but another megan is going to come over and study later tonight and i think griffin's going to come here for dinner in a little bit i'm watching brooke right now um i did just finish my dinner but you guys it is like raining so hard it's like slamming against my window but it's like every few seconds it slams against my window and i'm really confused because it doesn't sound like it's raining right now but like three seconds ago it was like literally slamming my window brooke just like got me in my feels because of her talking about it being her last semester next semester of college and literally like no joke like probably three hours ago i was just sitting here doing my finance work and i was like man this is really depressing i believe i have like a year left um when it comes to me next semester and i do plan on going to grad school to get my master's which i like hate myself for this because i double majored just so i could get a full four years of college and because if i would have just majored in accounting or finance i would have graduated a year early and personally, I don't want to graduate early. I've given you guys this talk before. I went my full four years here because I am still learning more about myself growing up. I am still learning how to be an adult and I'm not ready to go out in the real world. So I'm very thankful that I did double major. However, with my scholarship, if I would have graduated a year early, I could have used that extra year of scholarship towards my grad school here. And like part of me like regrets that a lot because I'm just gonna have like more student loans for grad school And I'm literally only going to grad school because I could potentially see myself being a professor one day and like that's kind of like a dream job for me if I don't do anything related to YouTube at all, which I don't think I'm going to end up doing anything related to YouTube but in the strange event that I end up doing something that I like have always dreamed of doing something with YouTube And I end up doing that instead or if I end up not doing that instead um, my dream job would be to be a professor after I work in the accounting industry for a little bit. So, she just got me really in my feels because, and I was already thinking about that earlier, because I'm just like, holy cow, I feel like I was a freshman yesterday. Everything from my freshman year feels like last week. And I'm just like, I don't, it just, I don't know, just cherish every moment. If you're younger than me, and even if you're my age, just please cherish every moment because I like genuinely get very bothered by how fast time goes by because I'm like okay they say it gets fast goes by faster like when you have a job and have kids which I totally get because when I like did an internship five days a week this summer the summer flew by so it's like and that's why it's really important to do what you love because it's literally what you do every freaking day which is disgusting to think about I don't know it's just hard because like I really do like enjoy accounting and finance a lot finance a lot but like experiencing the joy that I've experienced from doing YouTube nothing's ever going to compare to it so I'm always going to be holding any job I have in the real world to a YouTube contentment and um, satisfaction standard and it's never going to meet that so that's just like kind of depressing for me and it makes me wish I didn't know the joy of doing YouTube but like of course I'm very thankful for YouTube and I'm glad that I do it and I wouldn't change it for the world 
um, but it's almost like, man, I wish I did know what it was like to really love what you do and would still want to do it even if you weren't getting paid because now I'm just like comparing everything to YouTube and nothing's ever going to compare to being self-employed and getting to set your own hours, do what you want to do when you want to do, and really just having the freedom to be as creative and informative as you want to be. So, sorry, that was a rant. I'm going to go now because I'm annoying. Bye. Can you guys hear that? Literally downpouring right now. I am craving a London fog so bad. And I want to go run and get one from Heritage House, but I don't want to go out in this rain. I'm running the Heritage House real quick um, to meet Megan. And we're just gonna get like a London fog and probably like a little muffin or something for dessert. She just texted me saying she wanted dessert. And I just threw on a different shirt and a sports bra. Actually, I'm on different pants than earlier because of um, showering off myself tan. And then this coat doesn't match at all because it's like an off-white. But I got from Forever 21 last year and it's just like my favorite like lounge around coat for my house. But I don't know where my umbrella is. I think it's in my car. And my car's in my parking garage for my leasing or for my apartment, which is farther than where I usually park. So my hood for this is gonna serve as like my umbrella. I've got some muffins. So we're here, waiting on some London fogs. This is other Megan. <laughs> she has a whole PowerPoint for her, what is this, Christmas wish list? Mm -hmm. I have never done that before or seen this. <laughs> so Give <detailed>. links to. <laughs> Hi guys, so Megan was here for a little bit and um, we mainly just like looked at clothes online and I showed her my favorite Urban Outfitters, black ripped jeans because she was looking for a pair and she got a pair. And we were just like looking at like room decor and stuff too um, for a while and just talking. And then we reviewed for our accounting 39 information systems um, final this week. We just like redid a in class like quiz review thing and she left and it's like almost 1.15 now and I think I'm going to, um, I think my phone just died. My phone like never dies anymore on the 10R, which is so nice. But then it's like sometimes I just like don't charge it and I forget that it actually does die but I actually think I'm gonna edit this vlogmas I am really tired but I think that I can go ahead and get it done and then that way tomorrow I can like really focus on schoolwork as soon as I get up because if I have to focus on like getting vlogs up when I wake up I get make it an excuse to like start my schoolwork way later and I normally don't start till like two at the earliest if I save um the vlog set it's morning so I'm at least gonna edit it and export it tonight so then tomorrow morning all I have to do is upload it so that's what we're doing now thanks for watching be sure to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and follow me on social media and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye